Are you going to start a tradition of giving Halloween gifts to your children? No, that is from their uh, one set of grandparents. <laughs> ah. You know, it's funny though. Those are my parents. I never you got, got a hug. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction series. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, 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 well, um, actually, I think it's probably fourth, no, tenth or something, uh, Malayalam film or something oh, around God. there. Ten? I think it's around that. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but yeah, it's yeah. our third L LJP. Correct. Um, review. Yes. Um, this is the obvious, I think we went backwards too. I, I think we did too. We do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we that's see, just, that's we just see the their latest the and then we kind of yeah. just go uh, in the wrong direction. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, Agam Agamamali Diaries. <laughs> I still can't say it. Agamamali. Agamali. That was better. Agamali. Yeah, Agamali. Okay. Diaries. Yes. Oh, I thought it said Vincent Price. Right yeah, there. Vincent Price <laughs> wanted to be a powerful leader of a righteous gang that ruled the city, like his seniors. And then there's the rival clan... Uh, with the malicious gangsters of Angamali, a locale in which the film is based. It's basically just a um, rivaling gangs. Correct. But not like, I wouldn't even say it's like a gangster gangster story. It's, it's more of like two local Yeah, they're groups. not really, they're not like organized crime. No. But they are, it's not, the, it's not like thugs of the town. It's not like gangs of Wasipur. No. Gangs. It's no. more like just local, smaller it's like, groups. It's kind of like in Greece, you've got, oh, yeah. you know, the, you've got the Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds, and then you've got the Sharks. Yeah. Or whatever. No, that. that was that was West, West, Side, West Story. Side Story. I don't know what they were. I can't. Anyway, uh, the, no T Birds. But, the, but, and the, then some, that's also. But West Side Story is a good example too. It's yeah. More like West Side Story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> rival, rival not games. as much. Not as much uh, organized dance as West Side Story. Sadly. <laughs> But obviously that would have been great. Directed by uh, L L uh, L J P. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to say his name. And yeah, yeah, I yeah. believe there's about 80 new actors. Yes. Who, I, I remember who, reading that somewhere. Who had never acted before. In right. This, which is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> it's very impressive. Uh, but obviously, it's 100 percent for you. That's how we do it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. Yes. And I believe his next film. He said he might do it, release it VR, which would be crazy. Is that that's what you think the I do. I, I'm. And he'd well, be a good director. So yeah, number one, man, it would be really cool to have his stuff as a VR visually and audio. Yeah. I mean, his sound and his visuals in the films we've seen, it would be so immersive and so cool. Yeah, we've seen the trailer for it, but obviously COVID uh, pushed it back, and we yeah. don't know when it's coming out. Just like everything but I, else, but I think it has the potential to be as fun of an adventure as 3D was when 3D first came out, like in the 1950s when it was like this brand new thing, and you and I are both not fans of 3D. Yeah. Um, the only film I've seen recently in my lifetime that I was like, okay, I want this in 3D was Avatar. I enjoyed Avatar in 3D. No, not me. It's the only film I've enjoyed in yeah, 3D. But it'll be interesting. There was an article that we read, so go go check on that. But yeah. yes, 100 spent spoil of you. Haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. Break initial there thoughts. There you go. Uh, so a little paragraph for you. Okay. A quirky little film mm -hmm. demonstrating once again LJP's directing capacity, mm -hmm. most especially his musicality, <laughs> and his fondness for depicting the absurdity of mob mentality. However, I did find this to be for me the least visually pleasing of his films, and again, I wasn't able to care or connect with characters in the story like I would like to. Which he tends to do anyway. It just seems to be something I actually, he does. I thought in this heat there was more in this one than there was in the previous two. I saw the attempt to do that, for mm -hmm. sure. I saw there was more character focus than the other ones, yeah. for sure. But I I was not, here's part of the reason why. Uh, um, and it just, it is what it is. I know he's depicting how people really behave yeah. in this place, yeah. okay? But it's really hard for me to connect with a character when the characters are just most of the time raging. Yeah. And, ang and yelling and screaming and breaking things. I, it, it, I get disassociated and don't really, it's like stop having tantrums and let me get to know more about you. Uh. That's my own, that's how they behave. 
But for me to connect with the story, connect with characters, I don't connect. Huh. But in terms of, um, I actually really enjoyed the film. And I can see, um, it's it's obviously different than Jolly Taku. Jolly Taku yeah, uh, very. is visually just... I much prefer that one. That For me, I'd much prefer that they're one. They're very different. I don't even know if I could compare them. Um, because also visually, the last 10 to 15 minutes... Oh, well, let me, okay. <laughs> that last 12-minute shot. One shot. It's worth the price of it. <laughs> that was... Yeah. Like, it, that's the best thing about the film... For like, sure. That's that's an absolutely incredible. That was one of the most incredible yeah. one shots Agreed. I've ever seen. Agreed. Like, you know how difficult that is to pull off? Like well, the ones we've seen in in, in Mazi Pur and then Family Man, both incredibly difficult. Very hard. Um but this had a thousand people. Yeah. <laughs> and you know one of the things I was looking for, mm. and it wasn't there. Mm. I was looking to see if any background looked in camera to see if anybody was breaking. Mm -hmm. Nobody did. Yeah, no, he really got that working and that climactic ending. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that oh, when they yeah. when they're there and they're all just watching and it comes back. I wasn't expecting to see that. See him in, in the, the middle fireworks, of the fireworks. Yeah. which was uh, one of my biggest gripes is I wanted it to end there <laughs> on the fireworks. Not I didn't need what they were doing in Dubai now. I agree. I thought when it started to go up into the sky, I was ready for credits to Yeah, one hundred percent. Which he did. He's done this twice in Jolly Taku and, and this, where he adds something at the end where I just don't think it needed it. Right. Uh, I thought it was just, it was a lot more powerful to end on a guy in yeah. firecrackers. I 100% agree with you and would have preferred I mean, it that. I it didn't ruin it, obviously. I but agree. it's just, I, like, visually, it would have just been like, whoa. Yeah. And I think it took something away. I agree. That, like, it's just adding that little piece that I don't think was needed. Right, I, I figured he was happy, and right, and, and that, he was somewhere. And I think that's not a. Um, it's, it's more personal. Preference. It's just exactly. It's a personal preference. It's not a flaw. By no, by any no, 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 no. But yes, that one shot. I think it was ten minutes or so long. Yeah, I don't. It was great. I wanted to see the behind the scenes of how that was pulled off. Yeah, I, would, I want to know how fast these camera people were running. Yes. How fast everybody else was running to get to it because they were not even going slow a lot of the times. And I think one actually one of the brilliant things he did because this guy is he's the master of chaos. He really I've is. never seen anybody master chaos yeah. the way he has. Yeah. And he's also a director. It's going to be a weird comparison. Um, like, it's not in their style. Like Nolan or um, Guillermo, not in their style, but in that you go to a film to see the director's work. Right. The same with Inuritsu. Yeah. You go. You're like. Because a lot of time, obviously you're going to see a good film. You always go to see a good film. But sometimes with certain directors, you go to see them direct. 100%. And like Tarantino. Nolan, Nolan Tarantino. Yes. Uh, the ones who are very, like they have their own star. He is 100% one of those. Right. Versus, example, a fantastic director who I think doesn't get near enough credit when you talk about some of the best directors. Uh, two of them. Uh, Catherine Bigelow and Ron Howard. Mm -hmm. Both of them kind of disappear in yeah, the yeah, fabric yeah, yeah. of their storytelling. Yeah. You know? And that's just... And that's a beautiful style for direction. Mm -hmm. Versus, I agree. Yeah. He's the kind of director who puts a stamp on something and, and when you hear that he has a film, like Nolan, it's... Mm -hmm. I don't care who's in it. Yeah. It's, I don't, I don't care, care what the story is. It's, it's a, a Christopher Nolan film. Nolan film. I want to watch it. Yeah, because yeah. you're going to see their style. And he has that, especially in Jolly Taku. Uh, yeah. That, that's like... It, there is no stars in that. He is the star. Yeah, the director is the star because 100%. of what he did with that film. And obviously, this I and we'll get into it uh, now. But yeah, I there wasn't. I don't even know if I could pick my favorite of because they're actually very different. I think actually the Mother Mary one it would probably be my least favorite hmm. uh, of the two. Yeah, this and, one I liked that one a lot. I liked them all, but this one for me is my least of yeah. the ones we've seen. Yeah, because um, I what I really enjoyed <laughs> the. It was about every 15 minutes you'd be going along and they'd have some, you know, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue and then there would just be a random thing that happens yeah. to get you back right like, into it. Oh, it's not boring. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's 100% for And for, for sure. my ADD brain, that, that's really fun. Yeah. No, I'm this, like, oh, this, this is great. This so, keeps you engaged. Like they're talking and then somebody just drives by and tries to smack him in the head and then he does just a, a great take on the thing and on just the, the talking alone. I mean, we've seen this in a lot of the Malayalam films. Mm -hmm. The speed at which they speak, yeah, you got to be 
paying really close attention to yeah, something. Yeah, the, the Malayalam uh, language is ridiculously fast. Fast. As I think the fastest. <laughs> yeah. Say, why, if we did like a, uh, a language guess, I think that's how I could pick up on that's, it. That would be my <laughs> telltale <laughs> sign. If it, like, oh, this is the really fast one. Right. Uh, Tamil is also pretty fast as well, but Ma Malayalam, from all the films that we've watched, is just so, so fast. But I do want to talk about his sound design. It's always great. Because he's so quirky. With those sounds he picks, like what, what was it? I think they were jumping over something, right? Yeah. And he put like this. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a root sound to accentuate it, and that's what I meant in the paragraph. Whereas here's um, whereas this would be my least favorite, which sounds weird because I I like this film, mm -hmm. but the, um, my favorite thing in this that I didn't notice as much in the others was just how musical he is. In his direction, mm -hmm. even when there is no music, he does some things with sound that are really, really musical. And I like there was some of the knocking things that were matching some of the things musically. He did that, which was obviously musical, mm -hmm. uh, and but very different to the sounds in some of the other films, which were just the way he can capture the ambient noise. That's why the thought of him doing virtual reality. Yeah, the, Jolly Taco would have been amazing. That's the one I would. Reality. That's my favorite of the ones we've seen. Yeah. That's my favorite one. I think if I watch it again, maybe. But it's just that, personally, I like stories that are more actor-driven. Uh, sure. This is probably the most actor-driven. This one uh, is the most actor-driven. But obviously, visually, that one was just stunning. Visual, and I, like, audio. audio. So I don't, and I love them. I love the metaphor. Yeah. I love that that whole film is just the singular metaphor uh, that he's talking about. And, you know, that, that whole picture of Who's the real animal here? It is interesting because he does have a film with uh, Fahad. Fasil. I think it's uh, next. I think Anand. <laughs> I, think, I think it's called Anan. Okay. Or something like that. Um, obviously. So, Jolly Taku. Only the Diaries. Amen, I think. Amen. I think it was 2013. So, it was before all of these. Wow. Yes. Fahad Fasil. Um, so you, you guys can let us know if that, that's worthy of a watch. But to have an actor like that and a director like him working together is a pretty exciting thing. Very exciting. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, but the sound design was one of my most favorite parts of this film, for sure. And Agreed. I thought, especially the main, the main guy, I thought did really, really well. Um, and especially, I liked his relationship a lot with the love interest. I thought that yeah. was nice. She, for me, uh, there was a moment that she had before she the one leaves. he married. Yeah, no, 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 the other one who leaves. Oh, the one that leaves, okay. Yeah, she had a really tender yeah. moment in a conversation with him that I thought was very emotionally... Don't, when he said don't cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah. very emotionally believable. And then a beautiful shot that he pulled back on. Very pretty shot. And, but there wasn't anything, no one did anything that was... Uh, oh, know, no, no, there, was, there wasn't, I don't think there was any... There just wasn't anything for, there wasn't a performance in here where I thought, I'm, oh, I want to act with them. Uh, it just never came close. I'm, I'm wondering if he, he's just not one of the directors that you're going to see those types of things, because it's, it's more what? about the chaos and, right. and the story, right. probably, than any singular actor. That's Which is, at least what we've seen so far. That is what we've seen so far, and that's one of the things where I think, stylistically, I appreciate the style that he has, that is definitively his thumbprint, I would like to see something that goes outside of that. Yeah. And maybe this is that with Fahad Fasil because maybe. you got a heavyweight, strong actor here. Yeah. Uh, this may be one of those things that takes you outside the box. And if there's one thing I have a feeling that LJP is, is he's just someone who will not allow himself to become predictable. He's just gonna do something because it's a fresh thought and he's gonna do it. Yeah. Not because it works. Because it's creative. It's creative, yeah. 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 So that's what excites me about him. And as much as he has that thumbprint, these are very different films. They are very, very different. different films. Like, insanely different. <laughs> like, you would not imagine, I mean, outside of the chaos. Though, they, that's, I guess you can see, you might not even know if you didn't know that it was the same director. Yeah. You might not know. No, but he loves chaos. But he does. Yeah. He, I think, <laughs> that's probably one of the things absurdity. that gets him most excited. Yeah, and I think... Randomness and, and chaos. I think he's also... Um, Which is great for my brain. Not just absurd, but in all the films of his that we have seen, mm -hmm. there is this... Um, I think I used this description 
in the last two of his that we saw, mm-hmm. where he has a, it's, the word's escaping me right now, it's not malicious, and it's in the same realm as absurdist, but it's, it's more biting, it's satirical, where he'll actually present something that to the common person looking, they, may not, they might not capture the, the undertone of what he's really conveying. So like he, can, he could convey two people fighting, yeah. and at face value, it's these two guys fighting. But what he's doing is he's showing you, aren't these guys idiots? Could you believe that they're fighting about this? Mm-hmm. He does like a does lot of a symbol. lot. And I think that was one of the problems a lot of people had with Charlie Taku that didn't get it. Right. Was they watch it and they very were like, intelligent. What, what is very intelligent? I don't care about yeah. anyone. What is the point? Right, right. If they're dumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there was actually a lot of people that um, I, I remember reading. They're like, yeah, I didn't like this film at all. And I think it's because either they didn't pick up on what he was trying to say. Yeah, well, we said this during the review. We've said this about the movie Us. Yeah. Uh, where uh, there's, unfortunately, the movies that those are made for, the people who need to see them and be changed by them, mm-hmm. they'll either never see it or when they do, they won't get it. Yeah. Sadly. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they're either not getting the cinematic intelligence. Yeah. Or just simply the intelligence quotient to convey a truth. Uh, it just it is what it is. Also, if you know, like maybe it's just because they're from Malayalam, but like um, a lot of like food is a big emphasis for him. Yeah, and I don't know what that is. I don't maybe either. it's just India. Obviously, we know Indians love food, and they're very, very food centric people. But he tends to accentuate the food and also the murder yes. of that food. Well, and and <laughs> you have to take that into consideration not just because it's an artistic choice. Yeah. And I'm glad you brought it up yeah. because we know from other things we've seen in other films as well as stories we've heard from Stupid Babies that there is a striking difference between the non-veg, you know, the whole, really the whole meat-eating, food-eating thing falls into the Islamic majority mm-hmm. and the vegetarian falls into the the Hindu majority, not that they are all definitively that, mm-hmm. but you do wonder if there's some of that that's above our head mm-hmm. in terms of culturally what he's intending to say and what audiences receive in India who grow up around the cultures where there are such strong feelings about yeah. eating meat and killing animals. It seems like every single one he's accentuated. He really the has. The process of yeah. either hunting this animal or killing this animal. It was For this one, it was pigs. Yeah. The one prior, it was beef. Yeah. Yeah. A jolly taco, it was mm-hmm. beef, right? Yeah. Um, and then I, I think, I can't remember in the other one what exactly, but I don't, obviously it wasn't about killing, well, it was about killing people. Yeah. Uh, that but, one was about people. But I feel like food was also a big emphasis in that one, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. But I don't he know does. what, that, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't either. He seems to, like, really accentuate that part of it yeah and it could be and it's in your face and i'm like because i people don't like to see that obviously no no one likes to see how their meat is no and it could be one of two things sincerely from a director's vantage point it could be if he was a meat eater mm-hmm. it could be haha isn't this gross this is what i do haha it's you know almost making fun of it mm-hmm. it could also be i'm a vegetarian isn't this disgusting mm-hmm. see why i don't eat meat yeah. And it could just be a third reason that we don't even know the reason behind it. Yeah, I was just you know? watching it and I was like... He, but it's intentional. He seems to accentuate <laughs> he it. I just don't want it to be interesting to talk to him. No, we're not, we don't have plans to talk to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what not I, yet. That's what anybody thinks yeah. all the time. But uh, yeah. we would love to. If anybody knows him, send him our way. Uh, and but, it may be related as well to... Uh, it could be something as simple as just, hey, guys, you know what? Malayalam culture, wherever you go down there... Mm. Meat's a big part of the culture. A big part of the culture. That's it. That's they're, simple. They're very Christian down there as it's, well. Yeah, very, um, very simple. Is that for us, eating meat and seeing meat butchered on the streets, it's literally just as much a part of our culture as anything else. So what he's just doing is mm-hmm. showing you he's immersing you in our culture. Yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering. But yeah, that's what uh, that's what we think of it. Let us know which of his films we should watch next. Is it the uh, Amen uh, or is it a, a different one? Yeah. And not him. What's the next Malayalam film we should watch? Obviously, yes. there's a bunch of Fahad Fasil. There's a bunch of just other people that we need to watch as yeah, well. folks we haven't been introduced to yet. Malayalam's a big industry. Yep. Uh, and, you know, we love it. We've been very impressed. Like, very impressed. Yeah, you know, this is probably consistently the best industry 
I think, because the... That we've seen the most of, for sure. Yeah, because um, obviously there's some we've seen one or two, and that's right. Like, we can't really judge. Right. Um, but I think the one that's probably the weakest is was Virus, and that wasn't even that we didn't like that film. It was just Correct. probably the weakest yeah, of the bunch. like for me to say this is my least favorite of, of uh, LJP's films, well... Yeah. <laughs> it's still really good compared to everything else we've seen. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. So, let us know which uh, film we should watch next and uh, how what you thought of it and 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 other and other things. Yeah. Let us know some stuff. <laughs> <laughs>